Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk. We finished Phantom Liberty last time. So now I think we're going to complete the Cyber Psycho missions just to get those out of the way and maybe it'll improve our combat skill a little bit. But looks like we have a message or something that we have to read so let's do that first. OA Tiger, what's this? Oh, what the what the what? Oh, this was to, to find out more information about Tycho. Okay, well, let's have a look then. Might as well. Okay, chapter two, present day. According to the 2075 census, Tycho's residence number 40,000 and is one of Luna's two thriving cities, the other being Copernicus, with a population of approximately 18,000. The transport of minerals from Tycho to Earth, as well as Crystal Palace, is possible thanks to mass drivers, two on Tycho, one on Copernicus. In 2008, during the six-hour-long First Orbital War, a moon rock weighing two tons crashed into Colorado Springs, launched from a mass driver on Tycho. Casualties included the majority of the US Armed Forces Command, bringing an immediate end to the conflict. Chapter 3, Attractions. To gain access to the next chapter of the guide, please send the paid text message Tycho03. Well, that's enough of that. We'll, we can read more into that later. So, okay, let us is this our car? Surely is. Hold on. Are we are we overloaded? I think we're overloaded. Okay, let's lighten the load a bit. This is um, Reed's pistol. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's uh, let's get in. What? Well, all right. Let's get in and let's go find this cyber psycho and uh, do him in or her. Could be a woman. I don't know. Okay, Mr. Hans. Oh, hello. We should talk. Face to face. Ugh. Yeah, let me drop by. Nova, heavy hearts, here I come. And don't drag your feet. You won't be disappointed. Oh, well. My, my, aren't we confident today? I don't know. Should we, should we go and... What? What's this? Run this, ju run this town. Do you suppose that... Well, all right, all right. God bless it. Do you suppose that Mr. Hans is... Maybe gonna try and run dog town? Maybe. I mean, hey. I don't know. Hmm. Alright. So find the cyber psycho. Okay, that's why it wasn't showing up. For God's sake. Oh. Alright, let's um let's get fully prepped. Where is really hold on a minute. Where is my I want to try out Pariah, but I want my, my, my tech, is it tech rifle? Oh, the precision rifle. Yes, that's what I want. Swap it out. All right. Make sure we're fully. Hmm. See? Hello? What? All right. Let's, um, let's just be cautious here because I don't know what this is going to be like. You want me. trouble? You will get it in a minute, sir. So who... Where is the cyber psycho? Let's have a little scan around. Let's see residents. Okay. Getting a few people with names. A few people without. What's this? Columbus, yeah. Okay, these are just... Okay... Who? Who? You have been bu oh. What? I didn't even try to message. What? Hold on. Elizabeth Perales, goodbye. V, I know that my husband and I are no more than bunraku dolls in the hands of puppeteers, but I hope you took my request to heart. For everyone's safety, this is the last time we'll be in contact. Good luck. You've been blocked. Whatever, whatever. Hold on, let's just. Oh, are you the? Are you? Criminal record does not exist. 
Well, who's the cyber psycho? This is this is a little bit strange. You just stand up. Hello? Are you alright? Hello? Who's the Who's the cyber psycho here? Huh? Really? What's all this garbage? Production set. Oh my god, she's killed people. Alright. Okay, alright. Where did she go? Where did she go? Adam! Can you come back here, please? I'd like to have a discussion, if I might. Alright. I'm coming to deal. Oh, she moved. God bless it. Adam! You! Alright. Find some cover. We got her. Okay. Can I? Can I just. Okay. She's still alive. I think she's dead. Oh yeah, she is deader than a dead thing that is dead. Well, God bless it. I didn't want to kill her, but you know. What's this? Message to Dao Hyun. My dear sister, the time of revenge and the white light of frost white chrome and contempt has come. When you wake in the cold fluorescent light, remember how you humiliated me at my wedding? How I became the laughing stock of Night City thanks to you and your Mr. Stud prank? I hope you'll enjoy my revenge, as I've chosen the most hideous implants from Jig Jig's nastiest ripper docks to make a few adjustments to your oh-so-beautiful body. Ah, and I almost forgot to mention, I'm getting married again! My future husband needs no introduction because he's your fiancé, after all, and you know him so well. That's right, Kenny. But don't worry about him. I doubt he'll spot the difference. He's never been too observant, that one. I really hope you enjoy the craftsmanship and effort and... I poured into your new shell. It's the perfect match for the monster inside you. And I'm sorry to do this, but you're not welcome at the wedding. I'd hate to scare off all my friends and guests, or even Kenny. I'll be sure to send you some stills taken from outside your favourite restaurant so you can always know what your life might have looked like. Stay strong, sis, and stay away from mirrors. Your favourite sister, Lynn. Wow, that's... that's... wow. I mean, I do feel pretty bad, but... well... Ah. Okay, let's 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 go down here and just see what's what's kind of happened. I know she's not gonna be happy that we we did the woman in, but uh... okay. Oops. Oops. okay. Shut up! Shut up! Dear me. Alright, um okay. Anything here? Oh thank you. Somebody else dead? Wow. So they were trying to film something by the looks of it, some kind of I don't know. Production? Film or something? Oh wait. Was this the Message to Lin Hyun. Okay, let's let's read read the message back. Okay, my dearest Lin, I heard you've been worrying about security at the wedding. Well, put it out of your mind. As one of our biggest stars, you know that your comfort and peace of mind is our top priority. I would never ever let your sister ruin your big day. I'll see to it myself. You have my word. Your safety comes first, and that will never change. Even if you lost your looks, your talent, never. No matter what. Besides. Dow's in a coma, and we'll only wake up once you and Kenny are out sipping watermelon mojitos on the beach. So chin up, and don't worry, or you'll get fine lines. Remember, your skin needs time to recover from the transplant. Yours always, Celine. Yeah, um, Guessing this is Kenny. Well, Kenny, sorry bro. You got taken for a little bit of a ride, I think. But, well... Oh, 
There's something to scan there. There we go. Blood light now. Is this a speaker or something? It still works. God bless it. Okay. Is it something off the side of... Oh my god. Well... Okay, so, um, can we just... We, are we better plopping off into the water? No. I thought we might have had a softer landing, but never mind. Okay, um... Saigon Sisters Treatment. What's this? Okay. The scene opens with a close-up on Kenny and Lynn, posing for wedding pictures by a seaside cafe, sign and logo visible in the background. Slight blurring, but still legible. Scene shot against the sun with a slight glow and lens flare. Typical lively wedding, music plays in the background while the wedding guests' conversations are a dull roar punctuated with a loud laugh and cheerful shouts. Sudden change of mood, the music shifts to something more ominous, while the sound of a motorboat engine roars louder, obviously approaching at high speed. Next scene is overcast, the motorboat reaches the shore. Camera, pan in on the figure on the motorboat. It's a terrifying double of Lynn. Borged out and with a face contorted in pain and rage, it's Lynn's sister, Dow. Dow angrily confronts her sister, accusing her of putting her into a coma by spiking her wine, then installing the worst combat implants in her while she was unconscious. Dow lifts her arms to reveal the implants. The colourful party lights glint and dance off her chrome forearms. Lynn's face turns to stone in terror and the music soars in a dramatic crescendo. Close upon Kenny's confused face, his eyes darting from one sister to another. Dow hurls herself at her sister, but security steps in at the last moment, and they all tumble into the waves. The final scene of the season comes to an end with a loud splash. End scene. So this was some kind of production. Well... I mean, okay. Uh, I don't think Regina's going to be happy about this one, but, well... Oh, Regina. Got some bad news. Turns out there's... Not so, no happy ending for your favourite TV show. Our psycho star, reality star's dead, flicking you the deets. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to kill her, but... Eh. Sucks pretty damn hard you couldn't save her. Maybe if she could have separated the real world from her TV life, we would have stood a better chance of helping her. Sadly for her, she didn't just die a TV death this time. Get a load of this! It wasn't an actual wedding. It was supposed to be an episode for your favourite TV show. Saigon Sisters. Spoilers incoming. The plan was to pit both sisters against each other by chipping one with faulty implants and putting her in a coma, not from an allergic reaction, but with legit poison. In the meantime, the other sister gets plastic surgery to look like the sister in a coma so she can marry the latter's fiancé. How whacked is that? Except the coma sister woke up too soon, forgot she was on a TV show and clearly didn't like her new implants. In fact, she made it known at the wedding with a performance, wedding reception with a performance no one would forget at least for the ones that managed to escape. First she took care of her sister, then the husband, and finally the whole TV crew. That's when guts really hit the fan. I thought Maelstrom were effed up, but Showbiz takes the cake this time. You're right, it's reality TV show. Watson whore doesn't even compare. Yep. Okay. So there you go. Kind of sad, but, you know, when you make programmes like this, I suppose, well, I don't know. Can we get out of here? Yes, we can. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. <sighs> Cyber psycho sighting. Should we go and see Mr. Hans now, do you suppose? We could do. I have all these cyber psychos to deal with, though. Ah. I just kind of want to know what, um, what he's plotting. Because it sounds interesting. I think he's going to try and take over Dogtown. And that does interest me. Because Mr. Hans is the... The main dude. That would be quite... Um, quite the feat, I think. Alright, let's let's um, let's go and see Mr. Hans then first. Excuse me, folks. Thank you. How do how we get out of here? Look out! I am pleased to see your what? 
I am pleased to see you are making yourself right at home here in Dogtown. Excellent. The district will be all the better for it. I've got two new gigs for you. Peruse the details at your leisure. All right, I'll take a look. Thanks very much. Best of luck. So he's up here, is he? Hello. Okay. Here we go. Excuse me, folks. Thank you. You've seen Lizzie with me. I have. She's all right. She's a nice lady. Uh, is it this way or up here? No, it was up here, wasn't it? Hans. Dogtown without the Colonel. Can't hardly imagine it. Oh, please, well, brother. You're a common thug. Not even that. Not no more. Private rooms. Warm foods, warm Tone food. Down, Chumba. Yeah, bloody hell. You get caught. You gotta get nabbed. Nabbed. Hans. Ah, oh, there you are. At last. What's all this? I lacked the time to brew tea. My apologies. It's all right. Um, another meeting in the flesh. I'm starting to feel special. Yeah. Face to face again. What's changed? Mm. Everything. And that's what we'll discuss. All right. Kurt Hansen. Mm -hmm. A man of many hats. A criminal. Dog of war. Yes. To mine eye, an entrepreneur. Well, he's a dead man and now. And business suffocates in a vacuum. Vultures circle the colonel's corpse already. The enterprise he built must choose a new leader. We will make certain they choose correctly. I see. The shard. Please insert it. Uh, yeah, what's this? What's this we? And whence our interest? Uh-huh. And why is it we care? I take the long view of Dogtown's well-being. You care for short-term profit. Should Dogtown drown in blood, neither is achievable. All right. Let me guess. Got a successor all lined up, don't you? Yeah. Lieutenant Colonel Bennett, one of Hanson's most loyal, commands respect, mm. is capable of rallying a strong base. The logical choice, this gentleman soldier. Alas, he has competition. Okay. A man named Yago. Yago. He's starting from a lower rung, but has high aspirations. Chief account. He's already begun seeking outside support from the Voodoo Boys. Oh Lord. You will meet with Yago. You will convince him to back down. Um. Yeah, what's wrong with him? I guess he can't be uh, manipulated easily. Yago not up to snuff? Why? He's an accountant. Yagano no Sabo. soldier. Kept Hansen's books for him. V, you don't win hearts by counting numbers. Okay. Born a bit of pest as Yagodo Sabo emigrated to Night City with his family the same year, 2066. Sentenced Tick to prison. tock. Time I waits am for reading. no man. Don't be rude. Sentenced to prison for embezzlement of Petrochem corporate funds released in 2068 on good behaviour. Yago has since Yago, sorry, has since been a busy bee in Night City's underbelly. In 2072, he helped lay the foundation for Barghest and remained atop its organisational ranks due to his corporate skill set and large web of connections. Our business grows cold. Within the smuggling trade, he presently seeks support for his claim to power in Dogtown from the Voodoo Boys. Last and most certainly least, Yago is also an aficionado of purebred canines. All right, tell me more What's about Bennett's Bennett, story. Then. Ex-Marine, took part in Operation Midnight Storm. Okay. Never questioned orders, didn't serve for glory or medals. Loyal from start to finish. Sounds good, okay. Uh, enlisted in the NS... Enlisted in the NUS Marines in 2063, twice decorated for commendable service, thrice brought to military court on Tick charges tock. of... Time waits for no man. Insubordination and all dismissed under Colonel Hansen's protective watch. Took part in Operation Midnight Storm, but refused to demobilise after its conclusion in 2071, officially designated a defector by Militech along with Hansen's entire unit. He remains in Dogtown as the ex-Colonel's most loyal disciple. The natural choice to succeed is done. All our right! business grows cold. Fine! Okay, God. I'll handle that. I'm reading! No, you won't. But Aguilar will. Who is Aguilar? Uh, you lost me. 
Hansen remained on top because he had the contacts to stay afloat. Most important among them was a Cuban cartel. Okay. Enter Aguilar, huh. a merc assassin from Havana, a living legend. I see. Every time someone in Havana lights a cigar, Aguilar extinguishes a life somewhere around the globe. Oh. Okay. I'm lucky to have her behavioral imprint on hand. Oh. You're lucky to have experience with the tech already. She's so a woman. Okay. Um. Is there anything else I should know about her yet? Merc assassin, huh? Color me curious. Anything else I ought to know? Real name unknown. Body count unknown. Conservative estimates put it in the dozens. Per continent. Rumors, okay. perhaps. But rumors often make for crowning arguments in negotiation. So you need me to pose as a yeah. Let me summarize. Need me to assume Aguilar's identity. Have a chat with Yago. Talk him out of any silly ideas he might have. Child's play. All right. Okay. All's crystal. Yep. I prepared a shard with helpful intelligence. Also a weapon. The same Aguilar uses. Help yourself to both. Okay, um, well, let's take the gun. For one. Interesting piece of iron. Yeah. Custom made. A unique and highly persuasive tool. Okay, uh, and then let's take the imprint. Okay, let's have a look at this this lady. She looks mm -hmm. kind of nice in the picture that I just saw very briefly. Time to kick the tires, V. Can we Suit up and take the imprint for a whirl. All right. Hmm, okay. Oh, and we have a suit as well. Uh, okay. Let's equip it then. Let's have a look in the... Where's the mirror? Where is... Is this the mirror? Ah, this is the mirror. Okay. Here we go. Let's have a look at this. Do you feel the difference? Uh, oh my... Okay. Um... Yeah. Seriously, Hans? You make me your guinea pig for untested tech? Thought you valued your well-being more than that. Hmm. Better than expected, V. Or rather, Aguilar. Okay. You'll make a strong impression on Yago, too. A trusted source tells me he's to meet soon with a delegation of the Dogtown Voodoos. I'll forward the coordinates. Okay, complete contempt. Let's have a look at all of these expressions. Ugh, yeah. Deep disgust. Tick tock. Time waits for no man. Good grief, so bloody hurrying me along. All right. Must be V again, thank God. Ugh. Wow. I care not at all for how you handle the gangoons. <laughs> As you will. I have only one request. Yago withdraws his candidacy. Okay. Once you've shown him reason, call me. And remember, my district's future is riding on this. Ah. Uh, yeah. Don't worry. Won't disappoint. I got this, baby. I that is the hope. Good luck. All right. See you in a bit. You, um, you, you enjoy yourself. Right. Okay. So, we have to go and... Persuade this gentleman to um, stop his candidacy, candidacy, and then um, let the other dude win. Okay. All right. Well, this was um, emotional. Not really. Can I get out, please? Thank you. Ah, oh, lovely. All right. So, how far is this? Six hundred and fifty meters. Okay. Let's uh, let's just have a look at this weapon, shall we? So, um, Mancinella. Ah, well, looks kind of decent. Two hundred percent headshot damage. Wow. Okay. What's this? Jason Exiled. Amelda Ayala. Carbolo, 2058. Oh, is it like a memorial plaque thing? Oh, God, there's a tree there. There's a tree there, madam. There's a tree there. Okay, so this way. The Golden Fleece. Okay, 
Okay, y'all are just getting high. That's fine. In here? In this thing? Okay. This seems... This seems a little interesting, but fine. Mm. Clear. <laughs> Activate Jaguar... Agu Aguilar's implant. Okay. Can I get in here? Thank you. And wait. Alright. Here I am. Gig Talent Academy. What? Okay, so we're in here. Time to go Cuban. Alright. Activate the implant. Do this thing. Hey Johnny, how's life? Alright, find a way to get rid of the voodoo boys. What do you mean find a way to get rid of them? Can I just shoot them? Mm. Can we can we seriously not Alright. Okay. Allez! Ça c'est pas territoire! Don't be rude. Um I have good news. We will talk. I will not shed your blood. A very good deal. Mm -hmm. foot avec you. You want my foot in you. Okay. I wanted to do this the nice way, you know. Okay. And now you're dead. And now you're dead too. Okay. All right. Can I? Should I hide the bodies? Do you suppose? Maybe. Is there anywhere to hide the bodies? I can't see my map or anything. This is ridiculous. Okay, I don't think we can hide the bodies. Never mind. Let's just 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 drop drop them. Doesn't matter. Okay. Anything? No. What's in here? Nothing. Huh. So we just have to wait Probably for this dude. not a good time to take Aguilar for a walk. <sighs> I don't want to go far. I just wanted to have a nosy at, you know, what's what's around. Okay. Apparently I just loot as I walk over people. That's great. Okay, let's just wait for this dude then. Do I have to stand here and wait? Okay. I'm, I'm here. Hello. Gotta wait for the man. Out in the open. Ah, want a face off, do you? Aguilar, you saucy senorita. Oh, God, Johnny, please don't try and do that. It's weird. Oh, here he is. Look, here he is. There they are. Gonk's got no clue what's coming. Think I'm gonna shed a tear. Mm hmm. Is that who I think it is? Something ain't right, boss. Charlie. And you are her. Uh, what happens when someone in Havana lights a cigar? Yeah. I answer with my own question. Do you know what happens when someone in Havana lights a cigar? Somewhere in the world. Aguilar takes a life. So they say. Do you know what else they say? That you have angered the wrong people. Mm -hmm. We know of your plan to oust Bennett. We know of your new allies. The Voodoo Boys? Poor choice. My superiors follow Christ, Yago. I... I never intended any disrespect. It's not like you... What happens now? Breathe in helium. Eh... Uh... You'll resume your place. The chain of command. It is a concept you know. If just one link fails, the chain breaks. You will lay your ambitions to rest. You will resume your place in the chain and hold firm. Charlie! Oh, Charlie. Sink your hot shit. Prove it. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, I don't play, dude. You... So the legends are true. Uh-huh. Point taken. I'll back down. Good boy. But there's something you should know. Bennett is Arasaka's pawn. They aim to control Dogtown through him. Do they? Yeah, you proof. have proof of Bennett's deception, I trust. Yeah. Know where to find it. He goes to the city center often, Republic Way. The building's a front, occupied by a dummy corp owned by Arasaka. Really? As to Bennett's biz there, ask him. Press him. You'll see him, right? Plot thickens. Mm. Once they're gone, uncloak for your face melts like scarp Chaco. Yeah, well. Just getting started, Johnny. Yeah. Guess you ought to keep hands in the loop. Oh, yeah. Well. Or we could see what his favorite son's cooking up with fucking Arasaka. After all, Dogtown's future hangs in the balance. Hmm. Let's just um, wait for them to disappear. Go on, disappear. Get out. All right. Well played, Aguilar. High five, Mihan Mana Cabana. Hmm. Huh. Alex? Hello, V. Surprised? What do you want? Um. Yeah, it's good to know you're alive, I suppose. Although I didn't expect it. Yeah. Wasn't exactly expecting a call. No. Or at a run in in a dark alley or something. Well, guess we'll have to see where this takes us. Come by the moth, would you? What do you want? Yeah. This invite from you or the FIA. Got a black sack on your head? Didn't think so. Means it's from me. Sure. See you there. Well, that's a very curious kettle of fish, isn't it? Huh? Are we almost done? If you wanna go, it's all. How long have you been tracking me? What me? It's them! What are you talking about? Are you alright? Madam. <laughs> it was a very stupid thing to do that, you know. Very stupid. Pull a weapon on me, I'm gonna have you. Alright. Well, that certainly makes for um, an interesting take on things. Let's see if we can grab this. But in. Aha! Okay. And we're done, baby. We came in, we took the stuff, and we're getting out. Alright, let's go. Go, 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 go. Looks like there's another one of these relic things down here that we could use. So I wonder what Alex wants. That's that's the curiosity, isn't it? What does Alex want? Why does she want us to come to the bar? For what purpose, madam? What do you want? Down here? Uh, hmm. I wouldn't do that if I were you. That's not a very good way to do things. What in the world is going on behind us? Perfect. Look, what are you doing, sir? Is it you? Alright. Well, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. Why all these people are dead. What on earth is going on? But anyway, we will end it here for today. I think. Next time we... We might go and see Alex and just see what she wants. Because she must want something of interest, mustn't she? She wouldn't just get in touch with us for no reason. You seem a little shady bean, though. I don't know. Are you talking to me? Oh, you know. Alright. Well, 
There you go. Yes, we are going to leave it there now for today. So next time we will probably go and see see Alex and just see what um, what she has to say for herself. Oh, I've already seen that. Yeah, see what she has to say for herself. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>